Are you someone whose inbox is filled with a lot of spam mails? Or you're running out of storage in your emails? Then this video is for you. I'm going to show you a product called SaneBox that solves exactly this problem. So how does it work? You can think of SaneBox like an instant which categorizes mails into folders when you receive them. So you can decide the folders which you want and by doing this, your inbox will only have the important mails. And the cool thing about this is that you can train this algorithm. So let's say I get a spam mail in my inbox. If I just drag that into spam, then the next time I get such a mail or from the same sender, SaneBox will automatically put it into spam. So I'm going to show you all the features in this video. But one thing you'll have to note is that SaneBox, as of now, they do not have a free version. But they do have different pricing plans. If you want less features, it'll be cheaper. And I'll show you all of this in the video. But without wasting more time, I'll go to my laptop and show you how it works. So here, I've come to the SaneBox dashboard and I've logged in with this email ID. So all the changes which I make, you'll directly see them implemented over here in Gmail. Let's get started. So first we'll go to folders and view all of the features which are over there. As you can see, there are a lot of them over here. But personally, I feel that three of them are really useful and just using three of those will make it worth it. So the first one is Sane Later. So this is a perfect way to keep your inbox clean. So this will go through your inbox and incoming mails and move all of the less important ones into a folder called Sane Later. So now I'll enable it and show you how it works. Just click on enable. So here under labels, as you can see, two new ones have come. One is Sane Later and the other is Sane Archive. So in Sane Later, I have 14 mails which have been moved here. So if I click on it, these are all of the mails which have been moved from my inbox to this. So SaneBox feels that these aren't that important. And as you can see, almost all of these aren't. And after one month, these will be moved to Sane Archive that's over here. This was the first feature. And the next one is Sane Black Hole. So here, you can send any unwanted senders to this folder. And then all current and future mails from that address, they'll be stored here and it won't show up in your inbox. So all mails in this stay for seven days and then are automatically moved to trash. So if you see the description which they've given, this works on annoying mails from real people and services rather than mails marked as spam. For example, every two to three days I get a mail from Grammarly. Then what I can do is just move it to this folder and all the past and future mails from Grammarly will automatically go there and it won't show up in my inbox. So now I'll enable it and show you how it works. So I refresh my mail and as you can see, a new label has come called Sane Black Hole. So for now, I'll move this mail by Grammarly into the black hole. So I can just drag it and put it here. And now it's done. So from now on, all mails which I get from Grammarly will automatically go to this folder and then directly to trash. So this is really useful if you get some repetitive mails it could be newsletters or from airlines or anything where you'd want to unsubscribe. But by moving it to this folder, it basically does the same thing. And now the third feature, which I really like is email deep clean. So this will scan your email account and find all of the mails, which you probably won't be needing anymore. And then it'll give you a summary and quickly let you delete them. So this is perfect to free up storage and also for people who have thousands of mails in their inbox. So this can really reduce it from thousands to hundreds. So I'll show you how it works. First, just click on start scan. So here we can enter the date before which we want to scan mails. So if you have, let's say five to 10 year old mails, you can put a date. So let's say you have a lot of mails from five years back. You can put a date sometime then. For now, I'll just keep one year back. Then I can decide on what basis I want to sort them. So it can be the storage used or the total number of emails from that person. So for now, I'll just keep storage and then click on rescan. So here, as you can see, it's showing me all of the mails which are taking the most amount of storage. Like this one is 21 MB. And if I scroll down, it keeps reducing. So this is the perfect way to free up space. And let's say you find some mails which you do not need anymore. You can just select them from here and then click on trash selected to delete them. So these were the three features which I feel are really useful and make SaneBox worth it. But now I'll show you some more which I use 
there are three more. The first one is Sane News. So if you're someone who has subscribed to a lot of newsletters, then this will keep all of them in one folder, so it's easier for you to read them. So again, the same way, you can enable it. And then when you go to Gmail and refresh the page, you'll find a new label called Sane News. Then the next one is Sane Not Spam. So this will go through your spam folder and find any mails which it feels have been incorrectly labeled as spam, but may be important to you. So as they say, they rescue emails from your spam folder. And the third one, which I really like, is saying no replies. So when you've sent a mail, but haven't received a reply yet, then this will go through all of these mails and just move them to this folder. So here, you can keep a track of all of the mails which you've sent, but haven't gotten a reply yet. So these are all of the features which I feel are really useful. And now let's move on to the last thing, and that's the pricing. So I'll quickly show you how the pricing works. So these are all of the plans which they have, and each of them differ with the number of email accounts and features offered. And if you go to the pricing, as you can see, it's much cheaper if you pay yearly or buy early. So in my opinion, lunch is the best because six features are more than enough. And if you're planning to get this, you should take the yearly or buy early plan because that makes it much cheaper. Plus they give you three or nine free months. Then they also have a cheaper plan if you only want one feature with one account, and it's this one, the appetizer plan. So if you click on it, here you can see that we'll get one feature for $12 a year. But based on your requirements, just go through this and go for whichever one you like. I've also given a link in the description so you can check it out from there. So this essentially covers what Sanebox is and how it works, and if you have any questions, you can ask them down in the comments below. That's it for today. Goodbye.